Well, gosh, um, I think it's for as long as I can remember, honestly. Yeah, I mean, absolutely for as long as I can remember, we've been waiting for the Messiah to come for us. Um, I'm talking my my whole family, yeah, but my whole tribe, our entire nation, our entire nation. Um, yeah, you know what? I always knew he'd come. Deep down, I always knew it, you know, and maybe even in my life. But, you know, <laughs> but, I mean, let's be honest, right? It's not like I'm someone special. It's not like I'm from Jerusalem or something. I'm just a girl from Nazareth and nothing ever good has come out of Nazareth. Never has. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. And you know what? When that angel, whew, my gosh, when he came to give his announcement, I was absolutely positive he had knocked on the wrong door <laughs> with his announcement. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, if this is what God wanted who was I to say to say he's wrong and Joseph holy moly that man wow God please that wonderful man he could have joined in with everybody else everybody he could have he could have had me sent away he could have even had me killed and stoned yeah um but no he never ever once broke his promise to marry me he followed through so of course when he went you know for the census or when we went for the census it was you know to to bethlehem it was an absolute honor and a privilege to ride by his side the whole way <laughs> even with heartburn and very swollen cankles and nine months of pregnancy under my belt or over my belt really <laughs> you know those um those pregnant women right who 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 try all sorts of crazy things to induce labor like um or like taking frequent power walks or uh eating really spicy food or I don't know, doing the hula hoop or, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> you know what they should do? What they should do is take a long, bumpy, 70-mile donkey ride to Bethlehem. <laughs> because it, it certainly was not long after we arrived that I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, well, I, I'd never, ever obviously done anything like this before. Um, but, yeah, I, I knew it was time. I really knew it was time. Wow. You know, I remember um, with each wave of pain, I tried to ignore the fact that, that I was having this baby without you know, without the support of my family to help me and without, oh, you know, just the comforts and the familiarity of home. <laughs> but when Jesus was finally born, wow, I forgot all about that. I, I wrapped him in cloths and... Um, and I made, we made the most comfortable bed out of the, really the only thing we had, which was um, at the time an animal's feeding trough. God, forgive me. Um, yeah. Wow. Joseph said I should have been sleeping then, but I couldn't stop staring at him. I mean, there he was. <laughs> there he was the one that the angel had told me about my heart my heart was so full but not, none of my words were big enough to express it and you know none of my words 
it just paled. I just couldn't. I'm not the first young mother to, to bring a child into this world. Definitely not, no. But, I mean, as I looked down, my son, my, my redeemer, I knew that he was the one who was going to change absolutely everything. Because he'd, he'd already changed me.